I'm not going to be able to do this with two hands. One hand, rather. I'm going to do it with two. So, you get the idea. I wrapped it around with that, the first few. And then the last one, I'm going to do very carefully and gingerly towards the edge where it might bleed. Make the mistake I made the first time. Put your gasket on the outside of your barrel. And it says on this one, this is another great Missouri wind in Surrey. Missouri, 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 Missouri wind and solar product that it tells you which way to spin it. Oh, look, the tape came in. I do it by hand, but I also grab my croissant. Look at this. This is really cool to me. Do you see how the one in the foreground, which is the one on the right, is normal to the side of this building or not normal to it's it's parallel to excuse me the one on the left which appears to be rotating slower uh, but it's an optical illusion they're going about the same speed right now um the one on the left look at look at the angle look at the angle i'm gonna zoom in real quick the angle on that one look at the angle on this one this one's normal to the building. Look at the way the gradient of that building has affected the angle of those turbines. And tell me that that's not amazing. Like, that's, a, that's, just, that's just a MATLAB right there. What you might have anticipated, yes, but really cool. I don't know why I keep going back to looking at this. Probably not an important detail in terms of efficiency, but sometimes it's just about enjoying your life. Sometimes it's about enjoying your life and seeing. Look at the way, look at the way it looks like it's standing still. That one in the background, that thing's whipping around right now. Both of them are whipping around right now. Sometimes it's really just about smelling the roses. Sometimes it's... Look at that angle. We're doing the boiler up here. Shower down here. Sorry about the mess. You know, if it's safe, it might not look pretty. But if it's pretty, it might not be safe. I started with about a 132nd drill bit and I'm working my way up to this. You know, there's no reason to rush it. I'm wearing my safety goggles. Um, don't do this at home unless you're so inclined. Oh, see, it's not perfect because I jury rigged it, but I'm, I at least marked it and I can, I can either work on that or I can do the same thing as I did with the other one. I can start to drill small individual holes around it until we get to the ultimate goal, which is to create a nice perfect circle or whatever that means. But it's perfect enough. Whether or not Harbor Freight makes such a thing as can prevent the crawling, but not for sizes that are too small. This one, they don't make what you need, which is something, a, a center point. So we got a jury rig it. I found, I mean, ideally I would find one that has a center hole because it's just not gonna happen if you're crawling that much. But this is my jury rig being off grid. Sometimes you gotta make stuff happen. Be your own tool and die maker, empower yourself. And I combine basically a bit and 
another bit in order to create a what I feel is a pretty safe tool. I mean, it's it's sturdy, it holds up, and check it out. Well, this time Harbor Freight kind of saved the day in that I was able to easily measure where the circle was and kind of ruined the day again because I didn't have quite the right size. And without that center punch, it's kind of a lost cause on steel. It's great for plastic, though. Now that we have installed our DC water heater, our backup AC water heater, and our spigot, we can test it real quick. Make sure you test it. That Teflon tape works great, but it still leaks a lot. Plumbers have a hard job. And um, once it's tested, you can fill it up. The only thing I'm missing is a water level indicator, but I decided I'm just going to kind of hack it by essentially putting a splitter on this, and then I'll draw a clear PVC pipe. Oops, sorry. A clear PVC pipe up the side, and that'll show me the level of the water from the outside.